Welcome to Cheese Disabled. Uh, this is Maneater. This is chapter one and we are on the PS4. This is a platinum walkthrough, meaning if you've watched this, you will see every trophy, every secret, everything there is to find. We will be doing 100% of the game has to offer. So there will be spoilers. You can use this to follow along for your own guide or just sit back and watch and enjoy the game. I've had a lot of fun with it. I think you will too. Check it out. Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun fleet, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. If there was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Oh, people, we've got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. I Science think they're scary. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you. One, eat you, two, and you That's out. three things, man. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fontek Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Out of my way. Got a job to do. I guess it's a good thing math isn't part of a shark hunter's profession. He's not very good at it. We're gonna jump right into the tutorial section of this game. This game's a lot of fun. I think I mentioned that already, but it is. I've had a lot of fun with it. This and is this is just gonna Fast walk you through how you play. You look up, you she look down, you look all moment. around. And then you start swimming. Just keep swimming like you're finding Dory. Muscular Except when you find Dory, you're going to eat her. Because that's what sharks do. They're mean. Uh, right here, you uh, can see me activate the sonar. That's something you'll be using a lot. And you'll see me use and abuse as we move through. We're just taking bites out of the fish here. Because that's what it's telling us to do. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, you just want to bite fish. Fish will replenish you your main attack your best attack at least as far as i'm concerned this far in the game tail whip uh is i've admittedly never used outside of this it just doesn't seem to do as much damage as biting does and perhaps when i unlock some of the upgrades and evolutions that'll change but as of where i'm at we are still using teeth because that is the best form of attack in my belief so far. And we're going to knife, which to me, knifing, you move faster when you knife. That the ocean and uh, I don't think that's just in my head, but it, it seems like you move a lot faster. You swim a lot faster. Jumping, you're going to do a lot of that. A lot of collectibles up in the air, things you have to get, uh, things you have to attack. So yeah, that'll help you submerge. Yeah, and it has to be that you swim faster when you knife because you have a lunge underwater and not above water. So makes sense. Breaching is something else you do a lot of because you'll breach and jump combo in order to get even higher. As you'll see right here, breach, jump, wiggle, little wiggle in the air. That's hitting a jump button to uh, suspend the shot which will uh you'll be using that a lot to grab some of the collectibles that are higher in the air whip shot a bite tail whip never use it outside of here perhaps that'll change as we move forward but as of current not so much but we will do it here so we can advance the storyline because that is what it is making us do there's another sonar hit as you can see, the sonar shows you what type of materials a fish will get you. There's red, yellow, blue, and green, and they each give you different, it's basically experience because you use them to upgrade your evolutions and abilities. And there are very good evolutions and abilities in this game. I really enjoyed what they've done with it and how the different shark powers feel fun and different so now we're swimming over here to attack the humans which is always a good time you know and it seems kind of messed up but it says we're getting revenge so apparently our shark heroine has been wronged in the past so it's not evil you're getting revenge right i mean it's not just being a bad shark 
uh, if you're taking your pound of flesh. Or in this case, you gotta eat 10 people, so that's over a thousand pound of flesh. So yeah, that's a lot of, uh, lot of revenge on the mind. And uh, we're swimming and snacking, which I was always told you shouldn't eat and swim within 30 minutes, but I guess those rules don't apply when you're a shark. We're getting this last person here. We're gonna dive down and decide better of it to get this poor sap who's just floating along enjoying a day at the beach, despite there being a shark attack going on around them. Now we are going to run into Scaly Pete. All right, boat combat tells you what to do, targeting laser, and so on and so forth. We are attacking the boat, and uh, you'll want to do a lot of those barrel rolls. Um, you will see me doing this wrong, to be honest. And it's not wrong for this section of the game, but it is wrong for the way the game will be after you get a tutorial section when you're not a super overpowered immortal shark. Um, you will want to do a lot of the barrel roll and less of just diving at the boat like that because these abilities are a lot higher than what you start with. Your oxygen level outside of the water is a lot higher. The amount of damage you take is a lot lower. So you'll see me just moving here quickly, attacking as quickly as I possibly can. And part of the reason I did that is because I had recorded this footage once before and it was corrupted. So I was trying to move through the tutorial as quickly as possible. Right there, don't ever do that, especially in the main game. Uh, your oxygen will deplete a lot faster and you'll get torn up uh, getting shot at while being above the ground on the boat. And that's not a good idea, but like I said right here, you can't die. I don't think I don't think it is even possible to die here. You'd have to try really hard. Um, but I did try to pay mind of certain things to show, like diving down here and getting the hunters in the water who will shoot you with harpoons from underwater, so it makes it harder to dodge, especially if you're trying to maneuver to attack a boat. So get those guys when they appear. They they're an excellent source of healing, and yeah and it eliminates the target that's shooting at you. We, now we're going for this last boat and we get a nice little lucky shot plucking that guy right off the bow. That worked out pretty nice. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, but we're gonna appreciate it when it does. And we're gonna finish this last boat off here. Spinning, grinning, and swimming. Taking our shots. Getting our revenge. I mean, well, this is definitely revenge because these guys are shooting at us. This is a war, sharks versus humans, and we don't plan on losing today. See, as you can see here, the little barrel roll thing, this uh, Fox McCloud Star Fox 64 opening level barrel roll is also good for doing damage to the boat. Uh, you can see just a second ago when I barrel rolled into the engine, the engine started putting out fire, which shows that it that does damage, and that's a good thing. Diving down here, gonna get us a little snack and heal before next scene but i guess that oh, doesn't oh. happen Look at them we got a boss fight oh, she gonna make quite a metal piece. we're gonna get a chunk out of this guy right here got us some dinner coming boys. or not scaly pete just captured you huh? well that was a good game thanks for checking out man eater everybody i hope you enjoyed the game that's the end just kidding on board the Cajun Fool, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. This man's out here hunting prehistoric dinosaur mega sharks. He's pretty crazy. Oh, oh look at it. And pretty messed up as we can see here. She's on for me. Yeah, that's kinda jacked up as a baby shark. Are you mama in there? Don't do that, folks. Especially don't do that. I can identify next time I see it when I spear her. 
and that is some instant karma that shark you cut that the shark that shark took his arm kind of deserve that not even a lie and we are gonna wrap up this episode here we're gonna play this last bit of music cutscene, which i really enjoy it gives it that uh true tv vibe I do that scaly peat fist bump every time I hear this song too. Can't even front. All right, this is Man Eater. Thank you so much for checking out chapter one. We are going to be back very soon with chapter two, where we'll be taking on the game as our friend, the baby shark, and we will be progressing as quickly as we can. Thanks so much. Take care. See you next episode.